All right, guys, welcome back to All Things Outdoors. Here we have Gray. And today I got a little surprise for you. So a couple days ago, I found this stink. And I don't know if you know this, but he is not up. Oh, he's angry. I don't know if you know this, but he's not a five line skink. He's actually a broadhead skink, which is the biggest type of skinks in Maryland. Up, oh, he's biting me. He's angry, kind of. Can you stop doing that, buddy? Don't know what to name him. Maybe I'll just name him Buddy. After the elf. Even though these guys hate snow. There you go. There we go. So he is a broadhead skink. And I don't know if you know this, but look at that. See his tail? Oh, it's yeah. It's a forked tail. He's got two tails, which is actually very interesting. I've only ever seen one other skink that had two tails like that. So that's pretty cool. He's got a forked tail. That doesn't normally happen. And this is his habitat. As you can see, it's very nice. It's a little dirty because this tank is outside. It's the outside tank. There he is. And he's going to get fed tomorrow. And you keep him as my pet. So he is now my pet skink. And he's really cute. Uh, I've only ever found one skink other than this one that has two tails. So the fact that he has two tails is actually pretty crazy. Hardly ever see that in skinks. So it's a big skink and not only it's big, he has two tails. So he's pretty huge. Look at him. He's really cool. And we're gonna actually upgrade his habitat today. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna give him, we have to. Can I pet him? No. He's only, I only just found him, so he's only just getting used to being my pet. He used to have him. We have another skink as a pet, so I'll have to show you him sometime did you soon. Show, did you show him Mothman? Uh, no. But anyway. And no. And Mothman, unfortunately, Mothman, he was a Luna Moth that we found. But he died. And it, he didn't die because we were not taking care of him properly. They only live for a week. So. Really bad, but they live for about a year, too. But they live for a year, technically, if you count being Caterpillar. But he was only a moth for a week. So. Unfortunately, he died. I'm going to try and find some nice things to use for his habitat. Might find some little ferns, but not just yet. Just gonna look for some good things to put in there for his habitat. There's a tiny Christmas fern. They're called Christmas ferns because they are often green, even during Christmas. It's pretty crazy. So most ferns actually die. These are new. They only are just coming up. So only just coming up now and soon. And in the summertime, I'll have to show you because they'll get really big and be really pretty. And so that'll be good. Very excited for that. Try and find another fern to use. And, oh, there we go, look at that. So, here's a good fern. So, that's a really good one. And this is a good one too. 
all nice ferns. There's so many ferns around here. We have a lot of ferns around here, yeah. Makes Just the, as Gray was saying. Lots of ferns. I love ferns. Nice. One of my favorite woodland plants. Yeah. Uh, and they are some of the first plants to come up in the springtime. And they're the last to go in the fall. So I'm going to take all the ferns and I'm probably going to get one more. This one looks good. I like the two fronds, but I'm going to try and find one that has a couple more fronds than that. That one looks kind of good. Do you see some ferns going on? I like this one. You know, it doesn't have that many fronds, does it? Well then, yeah. I guess we can go with this guy here. Nah, actually, I'm going to find a different one because there are a lot of ferns to choose from. So you have a lot of ones that I'm going to get. So I'm going to find them. To actually see a lot of them. There's a lot of them that grow kind of back in this area, right along where our yard is. So we're pretty close to a lot of ferns. Oh, there's some good ones. Look at them. Those are really nice. Oh, look at this. So here's a good one. I like this one. This one. And this one. But I'm not going to use the first ferns. I'm just going to use these. Because the other ones weren't nearly as good as these ones are. Two of them were well too hot. Yeah, they, they aren't always perfect but a lot of them are really nice so take the really good ones and we leave the bad ones i'm gonna get no nah, that one's kind of a bit big oh this one here looks good perfect a lot of these are only just fiddleheads they're only just starting to come out so that's good yeah he burrows a lot he does that sometimes. Cause it's almost uh, time for it to get dark in like maybe two hours. So what time is it about an hour and a, actually yeah, about two hours. So be getting dirt, dark soon. So we're gonna take off all these ugly trees. <laughs> and we're gonna replace them with pretty fern. With Christmas fern. So we're gonna get all the dirt clumps off and all the old leaves from last year. Don't want the leaves from last year, because they're ugly. So, and then mm, you just don't. take them and stick the ferns right in here. Mm, and that nice. looks really nice. Next. There's one. And Gray's gonna pick up all, take off all the leaves. Mm. And some dirt. That's odd. It's like bone. Those are uh, the last year's leaves. A lot of ones. There's Is a good, good one right there. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty. Shake it a little bit just to help those ferns. Nice speed bur oh, there he ferns is. Unfurl. Oh, there he is. I see you. Yep. I see you don't want to plant one there. He's We're gonna mainly plant them on one side of the cage because one side's gonna have a lot of plants. One side's just gonna and the be other empty. side's gonna be empty. Can I plant one here? But we can plant maybe one or two on the other side. I'm gonna pick off all these bad leaves. So you got quite a few of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they don't always want to come off. Well, there we go. Oh, there he is. Oh, he came out. Here he there goes. he is. On oh, the he ferns. Likes his he likes the ferns. And look at that. That looks really good, actually. You get so, maybe one more? Uh, nah. I'm going to get something else. Actually, I'm going to get a different plant. Probably. You know, I might get another fern. I think these ones are going to look cool. Cause, like, they're well, they're going to come up. 
they're gonna turn and look just like the first ones soon. Now should we give him maybe some? So we could give him some, we're gonna give him a couple more plants because he doesn't have that many yet. Oh, this stuff is good here. Oh yeah. A little bit of sedum, which is a perennial. So even though it dies in the fall, it'll all come back in the springtime. And that should be enough of that. Back to and back to the skink. So you got some sedum there, nice healthy plants. It's already cracked. Yeah, it's a little cracked, but it's fine. Whoa, his tail is just sticking up. Hey, dude. There we go. Could like plant it under the rock, maybe? I'm gonna plant some next to the rock. His habitat is nice. He has a really nice looking habitat. Very green. Go green. Lots of green with the mosses and the sedum plants, which I love. So you can take some of that and put it right there. Right. That looks really good. Oh, now he's burrowing again. Oh, well. And there's another sedum. They're gonna take and stick oh, right in here. You. I can't. Yeah, you're in there. I know. Don't poke him. <laughs> and there we go. I'm hugging the moss. It that may is... not look that great on camera, but it looks better in person. Yeah. I'm actually gonna break up this big one because it's pretty big. And I'm gonna try and get a a tripod of some sort for the camera. Ooh. So that I don't have to constantly try and hold the camera with one hand and film with the other hand. Because it's not very easy. So that looks good there. Look oh, at that. Shoot, you have to go to music. And there we go. And now the habitat is all done. And that will conclude today's adventure. And we will see you guys on the next adventure.